If you, if you kind of let go of the reins of life and let life take you on the journey, things will kind of work their way out if you believe it. If you really believe that they will, things will kind of work their way out by themselves. It's, it's a really funny feeling, actually. I thought, you know, wouldn't it be incredible if I could travel and make money at the same time? Like travel for free? I think that'd be an incredible experience. And then I kind of uh, incorporated the music and the performance aspect and thought, you know what? If I could travel, perform all the time, and make a little bit of money on the side, that is the ideal life for me. And um, slowly, slowly, I just started putting the pieces together, you know, these little puzzle pieces. and. I didn't think I would actually do it and eventually I saved up the money, I, I took all my savings, um, saw it as an investment like a business would and um, put it all into this truck and I bought a piano and I just hit the road. In my mind I don't think it's, this, this will ever end in a way until the day I die. I really believe this is this is with me for life. I really believe that this is the this is the biggest work in my entire life, the biggest work I've ever done, the biggest uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Commitment. This is my, my favorite this is one of my favorite parts in America is New Mexico. Um, particularly there's a road right there in the center of New Mexico and it's just a barren desert and there's a little town called Clonch with a population of like 25 or something like that. It's really ridiculous. And um, I went down that road specifically because I saw a sign that said no food, no gas, no lodging. Before, like, right, there was a sign right before you hit the road. And I saw the sign and I was like, I'm going down this road because of that sign. I believe it does take a lot of courage to go out there and, and, and do what you really love. It, it's, it's risky, it's risky and uh, it's scary, it's really scary. Because you're out there, you're putting yourself out there in the public. Uh, and I remember when I first started doing this, it was such a nerve-wracking experience. I had to really like force myself to get out there to do this. But then I realized how amazing it was. Uh, in particular, the reason what really has, has been motivating me for the last two years is the people that I've met on the streets. It's incredible. Like I, I meet people, from, especially in New York, I meet people from all over the world, from France, China, Japan, all over the world I've met. He's an amazing, amazing dog. He's, his name is Brando, and he has the most incredible personality in a dog. It's, it's, it's really funny. Brando! Brando! Are you running? You're gonna do some tricks right now. Yeah, let's do Like, he's a, he's a performer. It's really incredible. Yeah, this is this is what really. Uh, hey, Rando. <laughs> no. Fifty-three. I know. I kind of I crossed crossed it out. I've been traveling across America since April 2011, playing my upright piano on streets of more than 53 cities. Burritos. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> We got, you know, we got like New Orleans, Philly. This is the first guy I met on my, on my first trip. He was a homeless guy, and I didn't have a sign on my piano, but he, he goes, you need to have a sign, man, you need to have a sign. So he had a piece of paper, he wrote out a sign. Uh, I think he wrote like, you know, I've been traveling, uh, I'm traveling across America, playing my piano on the streets of different cities. And he wrote it on a piece of paper, and he taped it on my piano. But the truth is that there are more good people in the world than bad people. And that's what I've learned by really going out there and experiencing it firsthand. <laughs>